Greenville, South Carolina is a community with a passion for cycling. And you're on the invitation list for the Greenville 2013 Paracycling Open. Don't miss this exciting event as we prepare to showcase the world's top paracyclists. This is a free event, so pack a picnic and bring your family and friends to the Millennium Campus, 200 Carolina Point Parkway, on Saturday, April 20th for the time trials, and Sunday, April 21st for the road races. For more information, visit GreenvilleSC2013.com. Uh, but on behalf of Greenville County, I would like to welcome the participants, your families, your friends, your supporters, sponsors, and, uh, the, and the national media that's here, too, to cover this. And we hope that uh, you enjoy your stay in Greenville. Uh, Greenville County Council is proud to uh, support this event. We uh, supported the uh, pro, National Pro Cycling Championships for several years and we continue, we'll support this event and we pledge to support the event in 2014 when we have the World Championships here and we look forward to that. Uh, we're very much an international community and so it makes sense to host an international event like this. We probably have more foreign investment in Greenville County than, than most counties in the United States and we're very proud of that. So uh, enjoy your stay in Greenville. We pray that uh, the races will be fulfilling and safe. And I uh, understand that some of you have already experienced Woodruff Road, and uh, all I have to say is uh, most people don't want to do it in a big vehicle. So, uh, but uh, really appreciate you being here and hope you enjoy your time. And maybe you'll uh, come back to Greenville and just, uh, just to visit for a weekend and kick back and enjoy the amenities. So, uh, welcome. Thank you, Bob. And our next guest, uh, who I was honored to meet a few years ago um, when we went to Denmark and, and checked out some, some exciting UCI racing there, uh, Councilman for the City of Greenville, David Sutton. Thanks, Ian. It really, it really is a pleasure to be here today uh, first and foremost, it's really an honor to, uh, to be here in the presence of such uh, tremendous world-class athletes. And um, we uh, first and foremost welcome you to the city and the county of Greenville. And on behalf of the citizens and our mayor and council and really all our staff at the city of Greenville, we are really, really pleased and privileged to have you in our city. You know, um, we have a storied history in Greenville of hosting some pretty substantial world-class athletes and events, particularly cycling events, here in the city. For about 20 years, we hosted the Michelin Classic, and then, as, um, as was referenced by Dr. Taylor earlier, for the last seven years, we have been privileged to be the host city for the U.S. Pro Cycling Championships. And um, we... Um, we really did consider that an honor and a privilege, and uh, particularly as we got uh, into the last couple of years of that event, we, 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 we really became to understand how honored and how privileged we were to host that event, particularly when there were other cities that were chomping at the bit to uh, host that, those, those games as well. The, the other thing that I think we, we quickly learned from that experience was how important partnerships were. And those of you who have been here uh, any length of time, I think have realized that partnerships in Greenville um, is really the, the key to how we get things done. We realize there's things that we can do on our own as a city, but without partnerships, we're very limited in terms of what we can, what we can do community-wide. So, there's a couple of organizations that I want to make sure that, I, that I, I recognize. First and foremost, I want to thank Dr. Taylor and the county because they've been a real strong partnership, particularly with USA Pro Cycling for seven years. And then the other group I want to, I want to make sure I thank is Greenville Health System. The Greenville Health System was with us really from the very beginning on US Pro Cycling. And, um, they, uh, they actually inc increased their commitment uh, on a couple of occasions, which allowed us to keep the games in Greenville. 
and they also are a huge sponsor of our Swamp Rabbit Trail, which I'm sure some of the athletes are aware of. And then also the, uh, the new bee cycling program that we have in downtown Greenville. So I want to make sure that I thank Greenville Health System and thank you for your continued commitment and partnership with the city. And um, Angie and I kid each other a lot um, over the past few years and we, we came to refer to a lot of the things uh, that we did with U.S. Cycling as, as, as we consider it a world-class event. And now ironically we're transitioning from hosting a world-class event to hosting a world event. And we couldn't be more pleased to, to be in that position. And it's, uh, it's also a privilege to have, have Ian here and, and Ian's organization, U.S. Hand Cycling, because in, in 2009, U.S. Hand Cycling was added to the U.S. Pro Cycling event here in Greenville. And, and I can tell you, I, I think there probably were some questions when we combine those events as to how successful that would be. But I can tell you as an individual, um, I, I think it was a hit from day one. And I think if you ask the athletes who participated here, um, one of the athletes I, 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 I talked to a, a, on a couple of years, he, he, re, he said we were treated like rock stars here. And, um, and I think it's first and foremost, we were, we were happy to have these athletes in town. But I think we had so much respect for what they represented. And uh, I'm proud to be a veteran and one of the one of the real bonuses that we experienced from having U.S. Hand Cycling here was the number of veterans who were involved with that program. So, um, so it, it's just been a uh, it's just been a win-win for I think both U.S. Hand Cycling and also for the city of Greenville. And before I go much further, I also want to thank also want to thank the volunteers who contribute so much time and energy to not only the events in the past but for this weekend and what we're gearing up for in 2014. The, 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 uh, the volunteers are really the lifeblood of, of an event like this. And I um, and also want to embarrass our own city staff. They, um, our, our public events and uh, public information staff, just they are the best in the country. And we are, we are so humbled and proud to have them um, and all the time and energy they put into the events to make the city uh, look so great. So I think what you'll see is you, you'll experience while you're here, like Dr. Taylor said, fortunately we're going to see some, some better weather. But also I think you're going to see southern hospitality because at the end of the day our people in the city and the county of Greenville are really what makes our community so special. I think you're going to witness our natural scenic beauty, particularly when you get a view of, a view of the mountains. And hopefully you'll also get to experience a few of the amenities um, which which, which kind of make puts the uh, the the, uh, the ribbon on some of the things we uh, and the bow we have on some of the things here in town. So we're honored to have you in town. We hope you have a uh, have a great stay and a safe stay, and we look forward to seeing some of you back in uh, 2014. Thank you. And I'd like to second David's comment on the city staff who've done a great job in, in welcoming us to Greenville for the last four years and, and helping us put on this event. And they've really stepped to the plate here on, on our international events this year and, and next year as well, I'm sure. Next, I'd like to introduce the administrator from the Roger C. Peace Hospital, uh, the president of NOTA Sports, which is the organizing committee for this event and the Greenville Hospital System, um, excuse me, Greenville Health System, new name, um, which the Roger C. Peace Hospital is part of, Mr. Stan Hewitt. Thank you, Ian. Um, I'm proud to be up here representing the Greenville Health System, but also as the president of Notice Sports, the LOC that's helped bring this event to Greenville, and also with the Team Roger C. Peace paracycling team that we have. So with that, that encompasses the commitment that the Greenville Health System has, not just to cycling, but also to adaptive cycling. I'd like to also thank the city and the county for their support for this event. Without them, we would not be able to do this. I'd also like to thank our other sponsors, of course, BMW, Invacare, Disabled Sports USA. This event fits into our mission with the Greenville Health System. It also fits in perfectly with our commitment with the Swamp Rabbit Trail of active lifestyles of any ability 
that an individual has. We really want to focus on the ability that individuals have and not the disabilities that they have. So we are fully involved and are committed to this event. We are committed and look forward to 2014 as well. And we hope that all the athletes enjoy the local community, the cuisine that we have, and like David said, all the amenities that we have. Thank you very much. And I apologize, I think it's actually now Dr. Healy. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the significance of the event this year, as well as the world championships that will be coming to Greenville in 2014. It's the first time in 2014 that the Paracycling Road World Championships will have been in the United States in 15 years. I was at the event in 1998 in Colorado Springs when paracycling was a much smaller sport. At, at that time, it was not governed by the UCI, and now it is. And I think the UCI considers it uh, a very marquee event in their calendar. And Mr. Healy, Dr. Healy, and the folks from the city uh, were, were kind enough to bring me along to Denmark uh, to talk to the UCI in 2011 to look at, um, look at the possibility of bringing an event here and when they put together the bid, it was absolutely a phenomenal bid that I think the UCI did not hesitate uh, to accept and approve. And to give you an idea, in 2014, we expect about 400 athletes from 44 countries. And in 2013, what we're putting on is some people would call a test event, but in its own right, it's one of the biggest paracycling events in the US on the road side that we've ever had. Last year, the Track World Championships were in Los Angeles. It was a very successful event. And of course, um, we'd like to, to outdo them on the road side here in Greenville uh, for, for 2014. But in 2013, we expect 100, actually we have 115 athletes registered from eight countries, including the United States, Venezuela, New Zealand, the Netherlands, Italy, Ghana, Canada and Germany. So with our racing this weekend we have a seven kilometer time trial course right here at the Millennium Campus. It starts at the far end um, and closer to Woodruff Road. On Saturday the time trial will be seven kilometer course turns around at the roundabout just up the road here. On Sunday there will be a 11 kilometer road race course that depending on the classification of athletes, uh, they'll do anywhere from two to three laps in the time trial and anywhere from three to eight laps in the road race on Sunday. And to talk a little more about kind of the significance of the event here and paracycling in general, at least here in the United States, I'd like to introduce our next speaker on behalf of the United States Olympic Committee, Julie O'Neill. Thanks, Ian. Let's make sure I'm in front of the right microphone here. Um, as Ian said, next year's event um, is a kind of a turning point for us of having a major road cycling event for paracycling here in the United States. And to, to cap off what we started last year with the track national or track worlds, excuse me, in Los Angeles, having that caliber of international event at home for our athletes is critical to the success of our program. Um, obviously, that support being in your home country um, is a critical piece when our athletes are competing internationally. So we're very thankful uh, to the organizing committee in the city of Greenville for going to Denmark and negotiating with the UCI and getting that bid accepted so that we can have that event here next year. So just on behalf of our U.S. Paralympic Cycling Program, I'd like to thank the City of Greenville, the County of Greenville, Notice Sports, um, as well as Ian and U.S. Hand Cycling for stepping up to the plate to form a great organizing committee to put on the event this year, as well as next year's World Championships. And I'll turn it back over to Ian so you guys can hear from the most important people this afternoon, our athletes. Thanks.
Thank you, Julie. And we would like to call our athlete panel to come up next. We're very excited to have some very prominent paracycling athletes from all over the world. Come on up, guys. Yeah, I think it, it was a great time in, in England. Um, we didn't uh, expect, all the German team, we didn't expect such a great event like the Paracycling uh, 2012. The volunteers, the, 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 the folk, it was everything was behind this, this game, so it was so great. Um, but it, it was uh, ended on the, I think it was the 10th of August, then, then it was over. And it's still in mind, of course. You very often see pictures like here, and like Alex. I was I was about 50 meters away from him as he won his first gold medal there. It was so great. Um, no, and then you have to to find out what's going on. What's what's your target for the next years? And so uh, during the uh, um, um, holidays uh, over Christmas, so my target is now to go on. And then, of course, um, you have to motivate totally new, you have to start totally new into the, the race action, you have to bring all the, the things together like sponsors, like uh, family who have to collect, I can't drive a car, so my wife is always with me to, to drive me from one place to the other. So you have a, a, to find a lot of things uh, to bring together. And so I was, uh, we came in last Saturday into Greenville, a really great um, uh, weather expected us on Saturday morning. And I did the first round on the circuit. It's a great and a fair circuit, a really fair circuit. And uh, we will see what's going on. And, and the surrounding, the people here is so friendly. It's all new looking, so it's it's very imagined to be here. Yesterday we we had my uh, recovering day, and we had a we rented a car and we were in the surrounding in the county of Greenville, and we were in the old town, the West End. And then the, the falls, and it was so great. It's really lovely. And we decided yesterday, my wife and me, we will come if I get a nomination, of course. We will come back next year to the World Championships. This is the sportive target, as I would say. And then we decided that we will spend another two weeks uh, for holiday here in this area. It's so great. Uh, we were in, in Korea yesterday, and we were in the BMW manufacturing. And it's, it's it's really a great area, and it's worth to be here another two weeks uh, on 2014 after after the World Cup, of course. After yeah. that. And, and thank you, thank you very much. And uh, I'm coming from the brewery company and brewery business, and we were yesterday on the main street, and there's a Blue Ridge Brewery. And I decided after Sunday, not, not before, after Sunday, I will drink there my first Weizen beer, we call it in Germany Weizen beer. And, it's, and the interesting thing is, it's a German brewing master, and he said, if you will won next year in the World Championship a title or a medal or whatever, you will be invited for a Kolsch. So this is a special beer in Germany for a Kolsch. And so this is a special target and for me, of course. <laughs> Uh, my main objective this year is uh, trying to win a world championship. Uh, so this is the start of the process. Uh, it's our selection for uh, the World Cup, either Italy or Spain. And then uh, we'll have our nationals, which is selection for the world's team. And then uh, it'll be a great honor to win national championship, or I mean a world championship here in Greenville next year. Oh, uh, the course is great. Uh, I can't wait. Actually, the plan was to go out uh, uh, with my end cycle uh, after the press conference, but doesn't look to be a very good idea. <laughs> uh, never know. It may change. Um, but in any case, um, the reason why I look at um, uh, or initially to 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 come uh, to Greenville and to uh, be part of this event was mainly. Uh, the fact that uh, I thought I could find uh, my toughest opposition around here, especially I'm talking about Oscar Sanchez, which is uh, uh, which has been who has been the man to beat for many years and still is to a certain degree, uh, but unfortunately is uh, currently injured and therefore is not going to be part of the game. Too bad. In any case, since I arrived here, I I just. Uh, 
keep telling myself that uh, it was definitely a very good idea to come around to Greenville. The event seemed to be very well organized, and uh, I can't wait really to 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 start my 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 race tomorrow, my time trial, and uh, to be part of it because the course seemed to be fantastic. And um, let me add also, technically speaking. Uh, very much uh, in line with uh, my best talents uh, because uh, you know every one of us has different characteristics and uh, for this course seem to suit my ones uh, pretty well. So would you call this a technical course? Uh, oh yes, it is indeed. Many corners. Actually I hope for, uh, for a dry race because I'm not that good going around corners, you know. It's, it's pretty known that I can't drive, therefore uh, <laughs> I don't want to clash. Uh, <laughs> no, besides kidding, uh, kidding was not the part about the, the fact that I cannot drive. That, 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 that is for real. Uh, but uh, I mean the course seemed to be really, really great. I can't wait to go out and, and, and uh, you know, check it with my end cycle, which uh, hopefully will be later in the afternoon, if not tomorrow. But, uh, you know, me and Fabrizio Macchi, we came all the way from Italy. We took it as a sort of a small adventure uh, for, for a couple of friends who wants to, you know, do a little bit of what they love, which is cycling. And uh, we, couldn't, we couldn't choose a better place uh, for our adventure. If, if, if I would have thought that uh, what I was about to try to do was going to be easy, uh, um, I would have... I wouldn't have had uh, any interest in the thing. Um, of course, uh, I was uh, my first appearance at the World Championship. My real appearance at the World Championship was in 2010 in Baykomo, and um, I finished fifth in the time trial, but a sort of uh, almost four minutes behind Oscar Sanchez. And I knew the gap was really big, but uh, not only because I'm an optimist, but simply because. Uh, I knew that, uh, technically speaking, there was a lot for me to gain, there was a lot to learn, there was a lot of uh, things that I could do in order to close that gap. Um, uh, you know, that, that thing looked to be really excited from, from, from the word go for me. So, uh, again, I knew the competition was really tough, but that on the other end was what was making uh, um, the, 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 this project so attractive, you know, the fact that if I would finally end up uh, raising the level of my game good enough to compete among those guys, uh, you know, that would be something to be really proud of. As much as when I was winning races in, uh, in motorsports, with certainly much more people watching, but at the end of the, 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 of the day, what really matters is uh, when you watch yourself in the mirror, is to know that what you've done, it's important for you, not so much for people watching. Um, similarities between those uh, two uh, great adventures in my life, sportive adventures in my life, uh, apparently not many, uh, but in reality, uh, when, uh, when you get to drop the visor of your cash helmet, in front of 200,000 people in uh, Michigan International Speedway uh, with the F-16 of the Navy just uh, flown by and the national anthem just being sung from Maria Mariah Carey and people going nuts when the speaker calls the gentleman start your engine. Well, in that particular moment when you do start your engine and you drop the, the visor of your crash helmet, you got to be able to, to find again your focus, at least the focus it takes to drive the race to the best of your ability. And this is something that you cannot buy out on the grocery store. You know, it takes experience, it takes uh, attempts, it takes time. Uh, and down the road, you form yourself, you form your character in order to not to be, um, let's say, uh, nervous, but to control your emotions. And uh, having had done that previously in my life certainly helped me a lot in London when uh, I was about to start my race because technically speaking for me it was a race. It was a very important one but it was a race. Although it was my first appearance at uh, a very unexpected appearance in, 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 into an Olympic event, uh, again I was able probably to control my, my focus probably better than others who were certainly more expert than me in terms of, uh, um, you know, uh, previous participations to to, to cycling event uh, as important as the Olympic Games.
again, for, for myself, uh, uh, you know, uh, until four years ago, I had a steering wheel in my hands, and I would have never thought I would become a cyclist. Um, it's quite ironical that somebody with no legs is, a, is considered to be a cyclist. Uh, but, uh, but life sometimes is funny, you know, and here I am. Um, four years had, had gone past, and uh, not only I have become a, a cyclist, but I have become a very successful cyclist. And, um, and uh, of course, uh, for me, the important thing is to be part of this game because I love what I do. And when you love what you do, you, you wake up every morning and you just, uh, you just want to improve. And by adding a little bit of, 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 of improvements day after day, you ended up collecting good results. The, the good result tends to become a logical consequence of, of, of the work you do. Um, so yes, I'm certainly very pleased uh, of the success I had, but it's actually not that important. In any case, if I have to thank somebody for it, are uh, certainly uh, all the team members of the national Italian team, in particular Fabrizio and uh, Vittorio Podesta, who was due to come with us, but uh, then he had some health problems, so he decided to, to call it. But, uh, uh, you know, they were basically... Vittorio Podesta. Yeah, Vittorio Podesta. They were basically my, let's say, um, the ones that were indicating me all the shortcuts in order to achieve the experience it takes, uh, you know, to race among uh, great uh, competitors like Oscar Sanchez or Ernst Van Dijk, just to name a couple. Uh, you know, so yeah, I I certainly did uh, what I had to do in training and putting the effort, but uh, you know, I also had the, the right uh, people next to me telling me uh, how to do it and how to you know, convert my energies in the, in the right direction, so thank you very much. Yeah. When I used to win uh, IndyCar races and I, and I pull out this donut thing, uh, I got a lot of criticism uh, at the beginning, you know, people used to say that I was showing off, okay, yeah, Alexander is a good driver, nobody doubts that, but in any case, he doesn't have to show off that much. Uh, the only problem is now everybody is doing it, you know, the, 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 at the end of every race, whether there is a midget race or NASCAR or IndyCars, everybody do these donuts. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was funny actually because I think it was Jimmy Johnson the first did it in NASCAR once and um, uh, the gentleman that was doing the comments said he's doing a Zanardi the very first time he did it. <laughs> uh, I was very proud of that, actually. <laughs> Good, yeah. Unfortunately, I got a front-wheel drive uh, vehicle. <laughs> it's very difficult. I have to do it backwards, and I don't think the power is quite enough. But uh, never know. Maybe I'm I'm, I'm going to work on it, and maybe I will have it ready for 2014. <laughs> well, in 2009, um, it was my first World Championships um, on the track on the velodrome. Uh, that's kind of where I got my start, and and. Um, and showed myself and actually won a silver and a bronze medal at those uh, world championships. <laughs> That's okay. Um, but uh, I lived at the Olympic Training Center for about two and a half years and um, at the, the world championships that followed those first ones I, I had drifted back to about a, a, f a fourth or fifth place rider, maybe sixth place. Um, so it wasn't quite achieving the successes that I had in my first world championships. So um, like everything else you, uh, you look and say well maybe it's time for a change and so I was looking for um, where I wanted to live, and uh, Greenville made the top of the list very, very early on because uh, because I grew up in Columbia, I was familiar with the area, and so I was looking for some place that was that was warm and had good winters. Because um, I learned in Colorado that uh, that winters are not um, are not something that I enjoy. Um, so I was looking for some place where I could train outdoors year round, and uh, I wanted proximity to the mountains. I wanted a good airport. I wanted work and um, I just wanted a good atmosphere. And I, I like how Greenville is very green. Um, so, uh, so, that, so that's, uh, I ended up here. Well, the Roger P. C. Peace team was started last year um, and I was not involved with it. And um, I actually raced the Paralympic time trial that was part of the U.S. Pro Championships here on this uh, complex last year and spoke with uh, Jim Cunningham and Simon Bennett who are the, um, who are the team leaders for the Roger C. Peace team. And uh, I told them I was thinking about moving to Greenville, and they um, 
they asked if I would be interested in joining the team. And uh, one of the interesting things about Team Roger CPs is that it's the, uh, as far as I know, it's the first um, Paralympic club, like uh, race race focused Paralympic club team in the United States that um, that uh, that's not exclusive to military members. Yeah, some some teams you see um, focus on hand cyclists. Um, a lot you see a lot of teams with uh, hand cyclists focus, but um, Team Rider CPs has. Uh, tandem riders and then um, riders on upright bikes like me and trike riders and uh, hand cyclists so we have we have a, have um, uh, athletes representing all the different categories Greenville South Carolina is a community with a passion for cycling and you're on the invitation list for the Greenville 2013 paracycling open don't miss this exciting event as we prepare to showcase the world's top paracyclists this is a free event so pack a picnic and bring your family and friends to the Millennium Campus 200 Carolina Point Parkway on Saturday April 20th for the time trials and Sunday April 21st for the road races for more information visit GreenvilleSC2013.com <laughs>